Likely, if you are a student of film, you can tell when a certain director is in charge of helming a movie. The bigger question though is, what did the director actually do to make that movie happen? There is a long list of duties that a director actually has, but I always try to break it down into the broadest strokes possible because it is less daunting and easier to get a grasp on the actual duties involved. The obvious is developing the visual look of the film. This goes far beyond just the camera angles and movements in the movie, or just the general way it looks. Think for just a moment when you hear the word visual. I'll give you a moment to start making your list of what comes to mind. Color of the image, framing of the image, lighting of the image, placement of actors or blocking, the wardrobe, the props, the sets or production design. The list could be expanded on, but listen to what Guillermo del Toro has to say about the pillars of directing in this video here. People talk about uh, wardrobe, costume design, cinematography, and directing as if they were different entities. It's a table with four legs. Cinematography, production design, wardrobe, and directing, it's four legs. Any of those four legs is weak, the table it's yeah. not even. As a micro-budget filmmaker, you likely cannot achieve the same quality of production design and sets as a Guillermo del Toro film, but the fact remains that those four pillars are essential to developing your own visual look. It takes work, but too bad, because that is your job. 90% of making movies is casting. The percentage is by far not accurate, but the ideology behind it is. The truth is that all parts of making a movie are important. Some things you can skimp by on without as many people noticing, and others are blatantly obvious attention to detail was not given. But casting, as a director, your role is oftentimes to do the casting or make final decisions. But if you are working as a for-hire director, having a say in the casting drops significantly. If you aren't paying the bills on the film, you will have a much harder time convincing people to give you full casting control. Just work from a collaborative perspective and you'll probably do fine. Directing your actors is oftentimes the most common thing that comes to mind when you explain to people what a director does. It's not the most important part, but is another important part of directing. As a director, you should know how to communicate with your actors to get the best performances and for everyone to make good acting decisions and remain in character for the entire film. I'm not gonna let you take the mug. I have to get it to the lab right now. <laughs> You're in your pajamas. If you were playing charades and your word was film director, what would you probably do to get people to answer correctly? I bet you just held up your hands to frame a shot. Am I right? If I'm not, did it involve a camera? The point is, as a director, you are responsible for creating your shot list or even creating storyboards. You're not an artist? That's okay. Wait, you're a storyboard artist and not a director? That's fine, I'm not taking your job away from you. The main thing to take away here is that as a director, you are in charge of coming up with shots, deciding how things are framed, and when to move camera, etc. Sure, if you have people to collaborate with, then by all means, collaborate with them. But don't expect them to do the work for you. That is your job when all is said and done. So create your shot list, draw your storyboards, or stick figure it out, and get a real storyboard artist to draw them for you so they look good. It's in the can and the actors have gone home. So you're all done. Not even close. It's in the can and the actors have gone home. Now as a director, it is your job to guide the edit of the film. It is as much a part of your vision as the rest of the process. If you are on a micro-budget scale, you might be editing your own movie. If you are working for hire, I suggest negotiating that they let you do the first edit of the film. It will help to define the movie closer to your vision. Besides, doing a director's cut after it is complete is not likely. Trust me, I've tried. Twice, maybe three times. Still, no director's cut. Knowing your role as a director will help you to know what is expected of you during the full production process of your film and will help you to define boundaries if you are working for someone else. 
If you want to hear more of my filmmaking insights, then consider subscribing and join in the quest to make micro-budget filmmaking profitable and more than just a hobby. Filmmaking? Micro-budget? No problem.